hop on and uh, give a short little update. I mean, I'm not really popular or whatever, but I kind of want to start making videos again just to like have a like a video diary type thing um, as I drive home alone most of the time. Um, I mostly sh shifted over to uh, TikTok. Um, maybe I'll put a link to my TikTok in the description. But I have been extremely busy in the past almost two years. Um, I purchased my own house. I'm working on establishing a nonprofit organization for reptile rescue and uh, doing the paperwork for that. I, um, I don't know, it's, it's been a crazy little bit of time. I went from living in my car in the same year to buying a house on my own, nobody else co-signing, just all my, all by myself. Um, it took a lot of work. I worked sometimes like 17 hour days. Uh, but I didn't want to ever have that uncertainty of having my own home. Because the place I was living at before didn't even really feel like my own home. Because I wasn't allowed to have like any of my own stuff visible. Uh, that's a whole nother story that I'm actually typing out. And I'm making into like an actual like document. But hopefully one day I'll release those accounts um, on uh, some other platform or I don't know but life has generally been pretty pretty good I'm taking in a few leopard geckos uh, I don't know if I'm gonna start making videos of all the reptiles I've been taking in I'm getting another three leopard geckos very soon they're gonna be, they're rehomed, um, rescues. Uh, I took in another one a few weeks ago, and I actually got an axolotl for the first time, and I'm thinking about breeding and maybe selling them to help profit for the nonprofit, you know, as like a, a way to make money to take care of a large amount of reptiles. Uh, red punch bug. Sorry. Um, but yeah, life has been really eye-opening. I uh, had to grow up a lot. Not that I wasn't grown up before, but it took me some time to learn how to adult. Which is, I mean, a lot of people, it takes some extra time. You don't just turn 18 and become like an adult, you know, it took a lot of hard work, dedication, I worked two months straight working almost like 10 to 17 hours a day in order to make $10,000 for a down payment for my house, um, which is a small down payment considering how much a house <laughs> costs, um, but I went from living in an apartment, to my car, to my father's attic, and then owning my own home. Didn't even move into the house for like five months because we were doing some minor house repairs since it was like, it's a very, very old Victorian house, which I love. I love the aesthetic of an, like an old Victorian house. Um, it's been like a dream to have one since I was very young because back when I was in like elementary school there was a, a house right in front of the school and it was like this old Victorian house that um, it was like known to be haunted and a lot of people in the school were afraid of it. I wasn't. I thought it was really cool. And people would be like, you should go knock on their door and you'll get taken like all the other people. It's just a house. It's just a house and I loved it. It's a beautiful house. 
Um, but besides that, I don't even know where that tangent came from. Uh, but yeah, I, mean, I don't know what else to talk about. I'm working, it's got a pretty decent job with a decent pay. I don't like the work. I don't like most of the people. A lot of them suck. <laughs> but, I mean, there's some good ones. And, yeah, it's me, my boyfriend, and my dog. The leopard gecko that I got. And the axolotl. Um, the axolotl, we, <laughs> I decided to name, um, Bonnabelle La Squish, because Bonnabelle is the name of uh, Princess Bubblegum in Adventure Time, and she's pink, so I was like, oh, that, that works, whatever. And um, the leopard gecko that I got, I named her Cleo, because the last leopard gecko I had gotten, his name was Niall, and I just kind of wanted to go along with the same theme makes me kind of sad because like that leopard gecko was stolen but um I mean healing is healing and you got to do what you got got to do I'm working on getting a receipt from the person I bought the gecko from and maybe working on some legal stuff and I'm not shy to pay as much money as I need to to go to court and get what's mine back uh, even though it's been like a year and a half I'm willing to go to court and uh, fight for that because I do make quite a bit of money now and I'm very comfortable where I am um but yeah it's oof, been a time you know life kind of just hits you sometimes and you gotta really work towards what you want and what's important for you and I'm just recently getting back into maybe hobbies if you want to call animal rescue hobbies uh, but yeah I've got a whole room I'm gonna make the reptile room dedicated to just all the reptiles that I take in I moved to a city that I used to live in and been settling down but uh, it's good to have a little talk with myself sometimes. And then it's, this is a lot less creepy than sitting in front of the mirror and talking to myself. Uh, and I'm sure nobody's really gonna watch this except for people who hate me, but um, I mean, this is kind of for me and to have like a video diary and I don't really care if you don't like me or whatever, but Everybody kind of grows into what they want to be and who they're going to be. And the person I am now is very different from the person I was, give it five, ten years ago, obviously, because everybody grows and changes. And, and whether people want to accept it or not, that's their own thing, but... I am just living life. So it's just getting on to eight minutes, so I'm just gonna end the video here as I'm almost home. And um, I'll probably make more <laughs> when I'm feeling the need to make more videos. Maybe I'll make videos of my reptiles as they get comfortable in their new houses. Uh, but yeah, um, if you made it this far, congratulations watching my random videos. Uh, yeah. Guess I'll see ya in another video, maybe.